My mission to find some of Ireland's most stylish homes has brought me here to Kilkenny, and today we're in for a bit of a treat as we check out a converted fisherman's cottage. I'm loving the door already. It's a traditional farmhouse half door. Very uh, handy to keep out the furry friends. Indeed it is. And what's quite interesting is, we, like, literally, this is a very small space, yes. but it's been very cleverly designed. Well, the secret to that is to enhance the volume by the high ceiling and roof glazing. Well, I'm intrigued to see the rest of the house, yes, may we? Yes. <laughs> Now your kitchen actually is really nice because it's quite simple. It is simple. I believe in keeping cooking areas small. There's no point in walking long distances. And then your island unit divides the dining area. Now talk to me about your choice of wood in the kitchen. This is walnut. I just wanted to add a little warmth to the, the tiles and plain walls. And this, I have to ask you about this. Uh, boiler. This Where is did a, you get this? This is a reconditioned Swedish cast iron stove. So you can heat your coffee you on You can here. heat your coffee on top. It throws out fantastic heat in the winter. Can we have a look upstairs? Yes, let's have a look. So this is the master bedroom? This is it, nice bright room, windows on three sides. Was that a conscious decision? Or? There were original windows there, but they had been widened mm -hmm. and enlarged in the 60s. I reduced the two side windows to their original proportions and changed the window in the gable end to this lovely circular window, which gives a fantastic framed view across the valley. colour scheme in here is, is white. It's I think if white. you keep your background white or neutral or soft pale colours, then you can add interest pieces that will you'll see them immediately. Now I believe the best of the house is still to be seen back downstairs. Absolutely, Maybe. yes, do please After you. follow me. This is the extension. It's a double height space. There's a little bedroom tucked into that part with an, an internal window, which is quite nice from the inside. You know, obviously it is contemporary, but it works mm. with the with the older part of the house as well. Well, it? I've I've tied in the proportions of the windows. For instance, there's a large window there looking over the river, but it's divided up in similar proportion to the original smaller windows. And this chair. Talk to me about this. This chair is an old steamer chair. Um, was originally on uh, one of the Cunard lines. Was it? Years, I'm told. I love the clever storage and the kind of uh, the window, the window seats. seats. Yeah, the cushions are, um, are a nice place to relax, but we've used storage underneath that. And again, the wood panelling. That's the floorboards on the walls. This crazy woman who puts floorboards on her, this on crazy her walls. Woman. I'm glad yeah. you said it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the builders thought. It's beautiful. It's such a relaxing space, actually. I'm nearly, I'm kind of sitting here going, I just want to sit down, put the feet up and enjoy the views. That's Speaking of the about. views, yes. I think we have to have Come a look at it from outside. Absolutely. So, a little lunch. A little lunch and a fantastic view. Lovely spot, isn't it? You're spoiled. Absolutely. But listen, we might as well sit down. And Claude, I just have to say, you know, well done, thank you very much. Thank and you for showing me the Thank you, lovely to have you. 
Now, our style guru, Darren Kennedy, joins me now to show us how you can achieve this look yourself without spending a fortune, which is really important these days, Darren. That's it an is. amazing house. Do you know what? I didn't want to leave. It's so calming. And a lot of people say, you know, a space that's predominantly white or very light shades is not very cold. In fact, it's the opposite. It's very calming. It's a place that you really just want to chill out. Uh, like, I was picturing myself lying on that sofa reading the papers. <laughs> Inishtig is a lovely village, but that house is up for sale, is it? It is up for sale, actually. Full details on the 4Live website. It's a beautiful spot. Yeah, if you have yeah. a few quid, yeah, I tell you. If you have a few quid there. Yeah. Okay, so you've recreated a contemporary type style here. It is very nice and relaxing. You've stuck to these type of subdued colours again. Yeah, I think it is. You know, and you have to keep, if you keep the, the, the base neutral, mm. and that's kind of what we've done. You know, if white's not your thing, you can go for maybe a slightly richer yeah. colour of greys. We've gone for a slight taupe here on the wall. And it's just about, you know, it's a wide spectrum of style. So it's about making it work for you. I think the big part of it is taking inspiration from the landscape of Ireland. So, you know, whether it be rock, you know, the ocean, earthy the woods, tones. earthy tones, yeah. and mixing it up. Okay. Now, right behind us here, you've got the first thing we're going to talk about. That's the harp wood screening panel. I really like this. I think it, it adds an awful lot to a plain wall. Exactly. Do you know what? It adds depth and texture, mm -hmm. which is all about. Um, in that house, we had lovely wood panelling on the walls, which is stunning. But you know what? If you don't have the room for it, if it's a small enough house, or again, you're on a budget, it can be quite expensive. This is a nice, cheap way of getting the same effect. It adds interest, and it's mm -hmm. quite simple to do. I mean, these... We We've got four of them here. You just pin them up. Just, yeah, just pin Tack them up. Tack them up. Yeah. Now, you can do the whole wall, you can do part of the wall, you can do whatever you want. They're really light. I mean, they are a, a hardboard, but really, really light. You can pick up, I think a sheet is 36 99 yeah. from Woody's. I and love the fact you don't have to be Bob the Builder to do that. Okay, let's take a look at these shelves and unit here. These shelves are just lying on the ground and you've turned them into a seat. Yes. I like this. And I this. love these because, you know what, in the house, the whole vibe was kind of lounging by a window, looking out over the lake, and it's kind of innovative storage as well, which I, uh, these are from Ikea. And as you can see, we've got our, like a little bit of wood or books or turf, whatever it is you want in there. And you just there. put some little cushions, little cushions on top. little cushions on it, and away you go. Hey, Presto, you've another seating area in your room. And you can use it as functional space as well. So we've the lamp, we've the, uh, the frame, whatever you want up there. Okay, very good. And you just put two together, that's 100 euro, and then the smaller one is 60. Yeah, the, the one long one is 100, and the smaller one is 80, so okay. 180 in total. Okay. Now, you found a cutesy little <gasps> stool. Yes, and you know what? This is a find, if you ask me. This right. is only 16 euro from TK Maxx. Okay. And I think it's beautiful, because it's like an old bar stool, really, isn't it? It is. It's and you've lovely. got your shell detail in there, so again, reminiscent of the ocean, and it's just a dinky little piece that can really lift your room. It's cute. Okay. Let me pop that down there. Oh, so you just find those things in TK Maxx as you're wandering around, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, do you know what? I've grown to just love those lazy afternoons. Rummage. And it's a rummage. And do you know what? Don't go in to expect to see it straight away, because you won't. Yeah. My top tip is do a scoop around, yeah. stop, Take a breath and then go back again. And that's when I always find the, the nice bits, the nuggets that are really, really good value. Excellent. OK, this chair again, you're mixing up the woods, I've noticed here as well. This is from Dunn's. This is from Dunn's, 55 euro. And it, yeah, it's all about mixing up the woods. But again, they're very natural coloured woods. Mm -hmm. Your pine, your ash, your oak. It's not about kind of going heavy on the staining. It's keeping it really, really natural. And I just think this, again, you know, with something like this, it adds lovely texture. I think putting the on made. the cushions and, and the drape as well makes it more of an indoor chair. Yeah. Otherwise, I think it would be kind of a, in a little kind of patio type area. Exactly. But, you know, this is just an example. A lot of people will have old family heirlooms or yeah. old chairs in the shed or whatever that they've not used. Bring it in, dress it up, maybe give it a lick of paint. And it's not it's costing true, a actually, fortune. Yeah, it is. Now, I love the lamp. It looks like little stones all piled up together. Yeah, my pebble lamp. I'd love to say I made it myself. I didn't. <laughs> uh, this is the Dahlia lamp from Woody's. And again, but it's, it's those textures, you know, those earthy stone kind of vibe. And it's 29 99 Lovely little piece. It's a good prize. And it really adds to, to a corner. And the fact that it's got a bit of a sheen of it. If you have a lot of flat matte colours, I think it needs to lift that a little bit as well. Isn't exactly. Right it yeah. picks it up. And, you know, it's playing with texture, with... Uh, different tones and the all together yeah. they work okay where are the terracotta, the terracotta pieces look at this one here this big apple the big apple they also come in pears as well okay uh, as in the fruit p-e-a-r um they're terracotta they're actually just a bit of is fun just 14.99 that's 14.99 and you can get a smaller one which is 5.99 and you know the smaller one we actually have one up in there in the shelf so you can pop them anywhere oh, yeah. on your table and they're just a little bit of interest, a little bit of fun. And while we're on that, those little baskets that that apple or that pear is sitting in, they're just little baskets that you mounted and turned into little shelves. 
Indeed they are. Where are they from? They're from Ikea, they're 4 99 And initially, actually, I was going to use these on the floor with some, you know, stones or pebbles or, or briquettes. And then I kind of thought, actually, they'd be nice on the wall. Makes a feature of them. And again, you've got a little bit of storage that you wouldn't have had. Okay, very good. I just want to quickly mention this table. It's rubber wood, which is, I think I remember seeing in Asian, Malaysian places like that. Good coffee table for the price. It's only 69 euro. Yeah, 69. That's Des Kelly, is it? Des Kelly, yeah. And... Do you know what? I like the simple detailing in the middle there with the, the stained piece of wood as well. It just kind of adds a, that another layer of texture. Okay, very good. And the couch we're sitting on is much, it's much more pricey. It's 900 odd euro, but it is very Isn't nice. Isn't it? You say. just don't leave. This is Harvey Norman's and I just think it's lush. It's very lush. One lush piece, you see. You can afford to do that if you're doing the rest on the budget. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Very good. Are you going to buy that house? Oh, you know, I'm going to put in an offer. I tell you, I won't tell you what I'm going to start that. <laughs> okay. Now, all of the other, all of the details we spoke about, but all the other little bits that you see around us here, all the photos and the things behind us here, they're all on our website. You can get all the prices there as well. And you can take a look at the Airtel page as well. And that is 340.